Colleen Sullivan is the co-founder of Autism Lizard, a tailored, on-demand video solution for parents raising children with autism and other related disabilities. Thanks for joining us, Colleen. Thank you, Kimberly. Thank you, so, Ethan. You're welcome. It's a very interesting story. Um, you have an adopted son who happens to be autistic. It's a very long but interesting story how you came <laughs> to develop Autism Lizard. Why don't you yeah. fill us in? When we adopted our son about six years ago, immediately he went into ABA therapy. ABA therapy is the gold standard in therapy, recommended by everyone from the American Association of Pediatrics, Neurology, and Psychology to the U.S. Surgeon General. It has proven to allow autistic children to thrive and ultimately become independent. So we were in therapy for four years, and it wasn't until year four that I said, you know, to the therapist, I, I really don't feel like I'm adding any value to any of these table sittings where we're doing therapy. And she said, no, no, Colleen, uh, we've been taking data on you for about a year, and we're seeing that you're not executing the parent techniques the way that you should be. And did you have any idea you were supposed to be doing that? <laughs> and I right. said, I'm not, I, you know, I'm here, I'm present, I'm participating in everything that we're supposed to be doing, I don't understand. Could you give me a very specific list of what I'm supposed to be doing? Certainly I'm present. The very next day, the therapist came in with a 20-point list of what Colleen should have been doing. And I said, this is the most beautiful list. I mean, I'm ready, and I'm ready to go. We started executing these techniques, and I would ask her, well, I don't understand this one. Can you model this one for me? And she would model it for me. And then every 15 minutes, we would stop the clock, and she would say, I like how you did this. I don't like how you did this. Do this. And my child thrived more in two to three weeks than he had in the four years. It must have been quite a revelation when you finally learned what you needed, but didn't it make you a little bit sad and wondering how many other families were yes. going through that same uh, predicament where they think they're doing right by their child. They're sitting side by side with them, learning these techniques, but then it almost seems like they should be able to run with it and okay, you're done with your part. You yeah. didn't realize you had to be implementing these things. I didn't the day. realize. Granted, she had mentioned, you know, give your son choices. Well, okay, well, you know, do you want chicken or uh, hot dogs? Okay, I give him a choice today. We're good. I didn't realize that part of the evidence base. ABA therapy, again, that all the pediatricians, neurologists, psychiatrists are all on board with, say this is, there's three parts. There's the child part with the therapist, there's the parent component, and then there's the community and teacher component. After studying ABA therapy, Colleen learned that most children are not getting all three components. The gold standard for these children is 25 to 40 hours per week so that's of a, this therapy. That's basically a full-time full job yes. of getting therapy. Yeah. For one to three years. It's also quite expensive, ranging from 50 to $150 per hour. That helps me now understand why the parent is involved because there's a huge imbalance of therapists versus children with autism. 3.5 million people in America have autism, and there are only about 17,000 board-certified behavior analysis therapists. And that's when I went to now our co-founder, Laura, who is one of these board-certified behavior analysts, and I said, am I missing something? We could be putting a lot of this on videotape. We could be getting this out to the world, to these parents. It's one of the components anyways. So one of the biggest goals is really to make sure that everyone that's involved with a child, from nannies to babysitters to grandmas and grandpas, aunts and uncles, if you're working on a skill and the goal is to have maybe the child request for things, the goal is, is that everyone waits for those words to be used so that the, the child is then asking for the, the actual items and everyone knows, oh, we're not going to give it to them because they have cute dimples, they're giving it to them because they used, I want milk. The more parents have in their toolbox of strategies on dealing with maladaptive behaviors and or skill deficits, programs like Autism Lizard are going to bring that to the fingertips of, of family members on their cell phones, their iPads, their computers. It's guided and designed by behavior analysts and the goal is to really get those interventions in the family's hands while they're waiting for that next certified analyst to be available. When we created this, the goal was do what we can to get some of these children or the parents of these children educated because since the parent component is part of it anyways, let's attack that part. 
she realized that she could post videos online that would be specifically tailored to the individual needs. And Autism Lizard is able to use the clinical intake form that we have on the website and be able to create the video curriculum for that parent to help that child specifically tailored to that child. So you started making your own videos, correct? Right, right. And then you realized, hey, other parents could uh, utilize this and benefit from that. Right, right. So immediately we started taping whenever my son and I were interacting. And it's really neat because our story is, let's help Jimmy and Johnny. And Jimmy and Johnny is our, our made up two children that need help. And so Jake will do good things for the camera, do bad things for the camera, but either way are good because it shows the parent when you're in this situation, here's what you need to do and what ABA therapy technique you could be using to get your child back to where he needs to be or she needs to be. It is what I equate to a different language. You have to be trained when to say certain things to your child, when to praise them, when not to praise them, when to pull back. It's, it's a different technique. Let's talk about some of those techniques uh, mm -hmm. that are featured on Autism Lizard that parents can actually learn to do to take away. Okay, so uh, one that I love that I always show is called be behavior specific praise. So with my typically developing son, if he were to put on his shoes, I'd say, great job, or thanks for doing that. It would be quick, it would be easy, he would know what I'm talking about because he just put his shoes on. Right. Well, with my son who happens to have autism, I have to say, uh, first brush your teeth, then put your shoes on. Two step process. Uh, and then when he puts his shoes on, I need to say, thank you for putting your shoes on. So with enough of that repetition, behavior specific praise, what did the child do that we are praising? So he knows mom likes it when I put my shoes on the first time she asks, okay. And if I say that a hundred times in a month, thank you for putting your shoes on. Me? Mad needs to have a break. Absolutely. Thank you for doing your alphabet with me. It's now your break time. And so we need to be very specific about what we're praising. Uh, I like the way you turned the TV off the first time I asked. Oh, she likes it the first time. Your it's a training lot of positive skills. reinforcement. Yes. Basically. Yes. Yeah. yes. Your training skills to the child. And so that's how, uh, in this technique, for example, you're training the child to do what society expects. Another one is choices, which I think we'll cover today. Clinically, and per all the studies, when you give a child choices, and in uh, autism and other related disabilities, well now that child has made a decision. We need to teach them how to make decisions, be independent. Also what happens per the studies is that they now feel in control and over time behavior would lessen. Choices can literally be made from anything. Say you cut their French toast in half, then ask which half they would like to eat first. You want me to catch you or push? Catch me. <laughs> gotcha. Ready? Set. Yeah. Go. <laughs> the therapist told me four years ago, make sure to give your son choices. I said, I did, hot dog or chicken that day. <laughs> right. right. Choice, checked off the box. I didn't understand this was a new language that had to be implemented 24 hours a day, seven days a week from the parent and hopefully the teacher, the guidance counselor, everybody has to be on the same page. Autism Lizard also has a component where the child's teacher can log in and watch the same videos and curriculums tailored to the child that the parent does. So we're very effectively leveraging technology in order to get everybody on the same page. Okay. Now, how did you come up with the name Autism Lizard? <laughs> <laughs> um, autism, because uh, my son happens to have autism and I realize this is what can work for children. And Lizard, because he simply loves lizards. That's really who this was created for and in uh, honor of. So it, it had to go with something that he loved. And so is Autism Lizard meant to be used in conjunction with therapy or can it, is it stand alone where, because I got to imagine it's a heck of a lot cheaper than it would be to pay, you know, the 50 to $100 an hour. Yep. And uh, well, I'm going to answer it based on how a developmental pediatrician told me. A developmental pediatrician told me here in Tampa that she saw this as a supplement to children that already have ABA therapy for the parent component that likely is they're not getting to it and a primary for people that have no therapy 
uh, ability. So people to, on a waiting list. On like a waiting that. list. Yeah. And that was from the developmental pediatrician who said that. While not a complete substitute for ABA therapy, Colleen Sullivan's Autism Lizard is certainly helping fill in the gaps for thousands of parents of disabled or learning impaired children around the nation. Visit AutismLizard.com for more details. Thank you, Colleen, for these advanced therapeutic strategies that are helping our children and teaching parents that they can access these strategies anywhere in the world. Make sure you stay tuned, because coming up after the break, our Back to Life segment.